The Alpgar score is a system used to quickly determine the status of a newborn's overall condition. It was created in 1952 by an anesthesiologist by the name of Dr. Virginia Alpgar. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, an Alpgar score is a test that is performed on newborn infants after birth to check on their condition. It takes into consideration the infant's heart rate, breathing effort, color, and other signs to assess whether or not emergency medical care is needed. In fact, Alpgar is actually a backronym that stands for the following, appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respiratory effort. The scoring system takes each of these parameters into consideration and gives the infant a score between 0 and 10. The higher the score, the better overall condition the newborn is in. Each factor is scored individually on a scale of 0 to 2, with 2 being the best score. If an infant were to earn a 2 on all 5 parameters, then they would receive a perfect Alpgar score of 10. Since this is not always the case, now let's look at what the score of an Apgar assessment means. If the infant earns a score of 7 or higher, they are considered to be in good health. In this case, you can monitor the infant and provide routine medical care. If they earn a score of 4 to 6, it likely means that the infant needs some type of extra medical care. In this case, the infant may require supplemental oxygen or assistance with breathing. And if the infant earns a score of 0 to 3, this is considered to be a medical emergency and they will likely need cardiopulmonary resuscitation, aka CPR. This test should be performed at least two separate times. It should be given one minute after birth and again five minutes after birth. At the five minute mark, if the score is less than seven, you should repeat the assessment every five minutes for up to 20 minutes. In general, if the infant earns a low Apgar score, it does not mean that they are unhealthy. It just means that they likely need immediate medical care at this time. Sometimes the infant simply needs suctioning to remove substances from their airways to help them breathe better. Or the infant may need oxygen for a short period of time. Again, for this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. We do have a separate video that breaks down the Apgar scoring criteria into much more detail. I'll drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.